Hey guys, it's Blackstone. Betty, you are coming along with me to the grocery store. Last night I ran out of one of my favorite things that is a must have at all times in my refrigerator. These are my pickled purple onions. They are so delicious. They have such a good bite to them and add such a pop of flavor to so many of my Blackstone meals from eggs to tacos to burger sandwiches. I add these alongside or on top of everything. So let's go to the store and grab some ingredients so that I can show you guys how to make these at home. You're gonna wanna keep them on hand at all times. And I'm also gonna show you guys a quick dinner tonight. One of my favorite weeknight dinners that I add these pickled purple onions to. So let's go shopping so I can show you guys how to make these. we've made it to our local grocery store today I'm shopping at Whole Foods although you can find any of these simple ingredients at any one of your favorite stores so let's go in and get what we need we're gonna start off by grabbing some fresh dill fresh dill not only taste delicious in these pickled purple onions but I love the pop of color and the way that they just look in here I'm gonna grab a few big purple onions and I'm also out of vinegar at home, so let's grab some white distilled and apple cider. I love mixing the two for this, although you can use any kind of vinegar that you like. And that's it. I think I have everything else that I need at home, although I am going to pick up a few extra goodies and get out of here so we can get home and get to cooking. All right, guys, we're home. We've got everything that we need, so let's lay everything out. I've got my dill, my vinegar. We'll start off by adding about a cup of water to a small pot. To that, I'm going to add in one one cup of apple cider vinegar and one cup of white vinegar. We'll put this on the burner and let this come to a low boil. Now we've got to get our onions sliced up. We're going to peel these, slice the onion in half, and then just slice these either into long strips or half circles. It doesn't matter how you cut them. You can make them as funky or as perfect as you like. Now to a one liter glass jar, I'm gonna add a handful or two of our onions, and then I'll grab some whole peppercorn and place that on top of our onions. You can use black peppercorn or a mix of peppercorn. Rip off some of our fresh dill and lay that on top of them, and then continue the process doing layers of onion, peppercorn, and dill until I'm filled to the top making sure to press down to really pack these in there because once we add that hot liquid they are going to shrink just a little bit once these are filled to the top i'm going to add in one teaspoon of white sugar and one teaspoon of pink himalayan salt i'm going to slowly add in our steaming hot liquid and immediately shut the glass lid on this nice and tight and give it a shake, allowing the sugar and the salt to dissolve in that hot liquid. That hot vinegar and water is going to slightly cook and soften our onion, but not too much. These are still gonna be nice and crispy crunchy. I'm gonna let this hang out on the counter until it cools off enough to place into the refrigerator. These will be ready to eat in an hour or so, which is perfect for dinner tonight. Although as the days go on, they will only get better and better and will last in the refrigerator for a few weeks. It's been a few hours. Our onions are so crunchy and delicious, so it's time to get dinner started. I'm making tacos. I've got my red onions, of course, and I took a shortcut because what mom doesn't like a good shortcut as much as I love making my own salsa and guacamole. Picking it up from a place that I trust that tastes really good never hurts. So I've got mango salsa, guacamole, some cojita cheese. I've got some diced up chicken breast and I'm using one of my favorite La Tortilla factory tortilla shells. These are so good and really cook perfect on the Blackstone. I'm gonna turn the griddle on to medium in the center and keep it low the two outer burners. I'm gonna lightly coat this chicken in a little extra light tasting olive oil. Season it up lightly with the Blackstone all-purpose seasoning. Give it a quick mix. If your griddle surface looks a little bit dry you can drop down a little bit of oil and spread that around although you don't need much. 
Get that chicken cooking. These chicken breasts are gonna cook up in no time. If you were to use chicken thighs, which I typically do prefer over breasts, especially for tacos, because you have that added fat, which just adds so much more juiciness to a taco. Since this is a quick dinner, we're moving fast. We're gonna drop down our Blackstone taco rack onto our right side. I love this thing for tacos. It is one of my favorite accessories. On the left side, where we also have our burners on low I'm gonna quickly drop down our tortilla shells these puff up instantly and cook so beautifully they soak up a little bit of that grease from our chicken we'll slide these into our blackstone taco rack and now we're going to add the blackstone Caribbean jerk sear and serve sauce this sauce packs such a punch of flavor you guys have to try it we'll drizzle this all over our chicken it's really gonna help that chicken breast become nice and juicy juicy. You could really switch out any flavor of these tacos with any one of the sear and serve sauces or any one of the Blackstone seasoning blends. Now let's dress our tacos. I'm going to top each one off with a little bit of our guacamole, a sprinkle of our cojita cheese, some of that delicious mango salsa. Top them off with our tangy pickled purple peppers. Nope, they're not peppers. They're onions. Top them off with our tangy purple pickled onions and a little bit of cilantro because I love it. And these tacos are so gosh darn picture perfect. When you are serving up food that looks so beautiful like this, colorful, and something that you can just taste, your mouth starts to water before you even take your first bite. That's what these onions do for me at least. I hope you guys go try these and want to keep them on hand in your refrigerator at all times because you're gonna love them on top of things like eggs and sandwiches and even on top of a steak. Ugh, I can't get enough of them and I just know you're gonna love them. So go make them, post a picture and don't forget to tag Blackstone products when you do and tag Blackstone Betty. Don't forget to go to griddlenation.com and check out all of the apparel and stickers and start your own collection. Be sure to subscribe to the Blackstone Products YouTube channel. There is a recipe for everybody. All of your taste buds are covered between me, CJ, Nate, Todd, Destination Delicious, and Bruce Mitchell. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty. I cannot wait to see who's gonna be making these pickled purple onions. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.